so at Birchmoor's again today it is um, Saturday so uh, we got a live auction there were some pretty nice cars plenty they got so many land uh, Land Rovers today they got this one they got the Range Rover Sport supercharged they also have I also saw an Evoke they got an Evoke as well got the Evoke as well very clean got this Range Rover as well got some little bit of uh, work to be done on it oh it got some body filler as well but uh, nonetheless it looks looks pretty good got a couple of more as well but um, never mind all of that I'm here for the buckies they got so many buckies this time around they got this cabin off super cab club cab whatever the fuck you want to call it they got more this side legend 50s rangers everything <clears throat> So yeah, I'm here for a double cab or a club cab. They even got a Mercedes. Check this one out. Check this one. This is nice. This is nice. It'd be very nice to do my call outs with this big boy over here. Yeah, be very nice. But it's got some very, very shitty workmanship in the back. Look at that panel beating. This one needs that guy that goes Tamin Dameni Tarbadijin Tarajin 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 Tamin Dameni You've been tagging me on his videos His work is very good More buckies as well this side Sorry Even this one too Got a Raptor kit and everything White body So yeah Let's see what we pick up um, I want to see if I can get some cheapies Just to flip and also see if I can get another bucky. I'm looking for another bucky as well. So looking for a bucky. I'm looking for a cheapy. Um, yeah, we'll see. And some autos. Because you'll only drive autos now. I don't know why. What happened? Is that a Supra? Oof. Guys, how do you manage to fuck up cars so quickly? Mm. The fender of this thing probably costs like 10k. That's if you can find one as yet. How's this thing? So damaged. Right front, uh, left front smash. Airbags deployed. This thing is nice though. But they just don't make them like they used to before. Nice car, bud. Got this nice V6 as well. This one I'm pretty sure is gonna go for very high. It's very nice, very clean. Amarok V6. Got my first, uh, my first cheapy, Hyundai i20, the 1.6, um, at a very good price. A Pito Lizos. This is the i20 I got. This one here. Just dirty, very dirty but nothing a good cleaning will do the body is it's fine it's even got a tow bar so it's a non-runner body is good we're just gonna fix the motor up and uh, put it on the market everything is there on the engine yeah good this bt50 just sold for thirty-five thousand. big luck super is on the bed now currently on 160,000 currently on 267 267,000 um, after the bid fees vet and everything 200 uh, 325,000 yeah so got sold at 271,000 uh, final cost after everything 330,000 great price for Supra the V6 is on the floor now. Nice one. 250 is a starting point. Currently at 320. That amount is not even on this paper. 
So yeah, it's going quite high. 320,000, that was the bid price. After that, I'm pretty sure it's about 400. Bucky's are selling at a real high price today. This one is currently at 185. So today it is quite crazy over here at Birchmoor's. Um, the cars are going really high. I'm inside the Mercedes, the Bucky. It's quite nice inside, but I don't know how's the practicality of these of these Bucky's in terms of how it, it is when you're working with it, towing with it, because. All I do is tour with these things, boss. I want to see how much it sells for, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be expensive because the Amarok as well, the V6, the V6 went very high. The V6 went very high. So this one, we'll see how much it goes. So it's a very nice van. It's just that dent in the back. Can't even see the mileage on this thing. Let's see. But it's a nice car. Let's see on trip. Let's go. Okay, I can't find the bloody mileage. But yeah, it's a nice van. Brakes are very spongy though. Might need some brake service. Yeah, so the beast is about to go on now. Almost time. Bit price 260. Too much. Too much. Uh, yeah, the auction's still going on. Um, today's a little bit of a tough one. Um, cars are going really expensive but uh, we will see if I can get another one the buckies are going really <laughs> the buckies are going really really high so I want to try and see if I can get something else um, I saw a nice panel van I'd love to get one for fixing when I'm doing uh, breakdowns and stuff so we'll see au au auctions almost done got only those ones left now so i still only have that one non-runner that i bought so we'll see we'll see what i get what the 18 283 uh, 283 two, one, two, eight, three. Right, it's one. got that one this bali i'm gonna catch him i'm gonna catch that bali raise my price so auction is over um yeah i didn't get a bucket that i was looking for so i only got two i20s which is uh the non-runner as well as the runner which is in quite bad condition but I'll take it to my panel shop and we will just get the body done. Yeah, so the body is quite rough. We'll just have to replace some panels. Um, suspension, we'll have to do the suspension and the engine is noisy. So yeah, we'll see. I saw that the oil level is low, so I think the tappets might be making a noise or the lifters. It's got a big dent in the back. Yeah, if you've been following me for a while, you know um what i do to these dents sort them out i've had a couple of i20s that i've sold before so i know these sell very quickly so i'll just put them to showroom condition both of them the non-runner and this one try and make a profit while i'm at it and uh yeah that's how it went on today's auction catch you on the next one so that's the end of today got big daddy over here I'm gonna pull both those cars with Big Daddy. I'm gonna rent a trailer next week, Monday, and uh, come collect my cars. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll see when I'm not in a hurry for those skadongs. I'm gonna clear my yard and uh, make some space and uh, see.